What is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in another episode of Pack and Play and we're back on Madden having a little bit of fun here Seahawks versus 49ers You've seen this matchup multiple times throughout your Madden playing days I'm sure Seahawks and 49ers being two of the best teams in Madden for the past couple of years for sure Two of the best defenses in Madden, but of course this is Madden ultimate team So we're not exactly using 49ers and Seahawks players. I do have a couple on my team But you know, it doesn't really matter Anyways, we are playing a guy here that's kind of annoying. Like, the way he plays, you'll see here, Matt Forte up the middle doesn't really go anywhere. Third down and one there. Now, fourth down and three. He's going to be going for it, of course, and he gets the first down. Matt Forte just pounding his way up there and getting the first down. So, next play, Ben Roethlisberger dropping back, looking for someone open and almost picked off by Malcolm Smith. Again, there's one of those Seahawks players we were talking about. And then Matt Forte to the left side, only a gain of a couple. So third down to six. Are we able to stop him here? Nope. He's going to throw a pass right to the right, just like a computer would do. Like the computer on Madden would chuck up a pass like that and end up catching it. And then Matt Forte again on fourth down and inches gets the first down. So we need to have something happen here. Let's stop him from moving the ball. There we go. Malcolm Smith redeems himself, gets himself an interception. And we're going to go ahead and take over here in the second quarter with four minutes to go. Let's see what Michael Vick is capable of right here. Finding CJ Spiller open. We're going to break free, almost go down the sideline for a touchdown. Unnecessary roughness play. Uh, penalty on the play. And we end up going down to the 10-yard line. And we get some more EHEs. Doug Baldwin ends up not catching the ball, bounces off his hands, and Kiko Alonzo with the interception. Definitely a guy that's going to have a big-time comeback year, I think. Probably comeback player of the year candidate for sure. Uh, 2013, you know, Kiko Alonso had a really, really good season for the Bills, really promising rookie season, and then ended up getting injured all of last year. So, you know, Chip Kelly must have seen something in him, other than being an Oregon player, uh, to trade away C.J. Spiller for him. And I definitely do want to see him make a big-time comeback. But after four now for my opponent, we take over. First down and 10. Speaking of C.J. Spiller, gets a handoff to the right side and goes absolutely nowhere. So now Michael Vick's going to have to show him up, show him how to run the ball a little bit. To the left side, we pull up field and get the first down down to the 16. Probably should have slid with Michael Vick because he's not one to hold on to the ball very often. Uh, try to go for it on third down in inches. We don't get the first down, but we do on the next play with the quarterback sneak. Now C.J. Spiller again. Another handoff goes nowhere. So now second down and 10. Michael Vick on the play action. Looking for someone open, but nothing is open at all. Had Kyle Rudolph for like a split second, but... End up taking the sack. Not exactly the play I was looking for there. Third down and 13. And we find Rudolph for his first touchdown of the game. Puts us up by a pro pack and puts us up 7 to nothing on our opponent. And now he's going to go ahead and take over here. First down and 10. Intercepted by the Honey Badger. Always making plays for me. Definitely going to be looking to get his card in Madden 16 early. And having some fun with that. Hopefully he's around the same skill level as he is in this game. Because I'm telling you guys, he's like one of the best user players I've ever played with in Madden. I don't know if it's because I'm like forced to play with him due to pack and play, but he's just one of those guys that is always like near the ball, just a ball hawk. Even though he's really tiny, definitely makes up for it in his you know playmaking ability. So just there, we've seen Kyle Rudolph get his second touchdown of the game, puts us up by another pro pack, and then we get a fumble recovery right back to Kyle Rudolph for his third touchdown of the game, puts us up 21 to nothing and up by a third pro pack already on this guy with 36 seconds left before half. And again, third down and 10 here. He's able to go nowhere. Turnover on downs. Play action to C.J. Spiller. Finding Rudolph again downfield. Having himself a day, which is why he's the name and the title of the video. So now as time is expiring, going into halftime, Kyle Rudolph goes up. And he's not able to grab the ball out of the air. That would have been his fourth touchdown of the game. Having himself a day, like I said. So now my opponent is now going to take over here after a little bit of back and forth nowhere from me and my opponent. I have no idea what was happening to me. I wasn't able to move the ball at all. But... Is that Kyle Rudolph for him now? Going into the end zone, burning my defenders, burning my user player, and getting himself a touchdown. So Kyle Rudolph is responsible for four touchdowns on the day for myself and for my opponent. That's crazy. Going back to Rudolph again, and oh my goodness, almost had the catch. That would have been nice. Got both of his hands on the ball, but maybe if he was just a little bit better at catching or better catching traffic, he would have grabbed that. But unfortunately, he did not. Second down to 10, Michael Vick scrambles and gets taken down only for a gain of five. Play action, CJ Spiller looking for someone open. Is that Rudolph again? Nope, it's Lance Kendricks open, juking out a defender, spinning his way down to the 13-yard line. And, you know, I thought it was Kyle Rudolph. I threw it to X. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to try to run away from the defender. And, nope, we end up getting sacked in the play by Carlos Dunlap. Second down to 19. 
and nothing really needs to be said. You already know we're going to Rudolph down to the one. And at that point of the game, I'm just like, you know what? Why not keep feeding him? See how many touches I can get him and how many touchdowns he can get. So there's a touchdown number four for my Kyle Rudolph. And then, of course, one for my opponent. So five touchdowns. You know, you would expect to see that with, like, a guy like Calvin Johnson or something if you're using, like, really good super teams. Um, you know, maybe my Calvin scores, like, three touchdowns. My opponent scores two. But Kyle Rudolph, though, when do you actually see that happen? It's just a random player to have so many touches and so many catches for touchdowns. But uh, he's going to go down here to the one-yard line again. And, of course, we're going to the big guy, getting his fifth touchdown on the day. So Kyle Rudolph is responsible for six touchdowns in this exact game. And, of course, there it is, 11 receptions, 133 yards, five touchdowns. And we got five pro packs to open. Let's get it. All right, guys, so five pro packs to open after that victory. Now let's talk a little bit about what videos I upload to this channel and what videos I shouldn't upload to this channel. So uh, I did a Destiny video yesterday, and a lot of people were really, really supportive of the video and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm kind of thinking that this, you know, this channel started with Madden um, and other sports video titles like NBA 2K, and I did implement some GTA at some point during the years, GTA 5, and then we did a little bit of Rocket League and you know most of the videos that i notice that you guys really really like are the sports video games so madden of course is always going to be here this is my main thing that i'll be doing on this channel but i also have a let's play channel that i tried to kind of get into a couple of years ago uh, i tried to play a little bit of titanfall on it and you know my friends really didn't like titanfall and i don't think it was really well perceived in the entire gaming community uh titanfall kind of died down pretty quick but uh, I do definitely like Destiny, and I would love to upload it to this channel, but I don't want to have to, you know, gain a whole bunch of new Destiny people onto my channel and then have them wonder, like, why are you playing Madden? Like, and then have you guys say, well, I like you, I like you to play Madden. I don't want you to play Destiny. So to, to solve everything, I'm going to keep my Let's Play channel sticking with Destiny and other games other than sports video games. And then on my main channel, X Ryan Now in 5, where I'll be the most active, it'll be only Madden some 2k if i do get into 2k 16 and then of course a little bit of rocket league in and out if you guys want to see that which my friends do have a lot of fun playing that and i have no problem jumping on there and playing with them as well so pretty much to sum it up madden videos are here to stay forever i'll be playing madden until the series dies out and it'll be uploaded to x ryan 915 and then if you want to subscribe to my let's play channel which is ryan 915 lp i'll have the link in the description below i'll be uploading destiny videos there all the time and then I'll also do some requests. Maybe if you guys want to see me play another game, I'll probably do like a poll question or just have you guys comment below and see exactly what you want me to play. And then I'll start up that series of games as well. I want to have a lot of fun playing games. It's my number one main thing that I love to do is playing games as well as probably most of your guys' favorite thing to do. So that's exactly why I want to separate my channel from other games and just keep this channel as Madden because Madden is awesome and you guys love Madden. So that's going to be the video, guys. Subscribe for new. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.